Today I'm going to show you how to make upgradable player housing in your RPG Maker MV game, and while we're at it, I'm just going to rename this town from Map 1 to Tutoria. Also, if you love RPG Maker MV tutorials, tips and tricks, and all around just the general discussion of RPG Maker MV, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I post up a video. So just to start off with, we're going to be making three different houses. Uh, the first one is going to be the house as you buy it, and it's going to be in a poor, dilapidated condition. The second is just going to be a bit more upgraded with a few extra features, and then the third is going to be the fully upgraded house. So, I'm just going to quickly start mapping that one out now. We're just going to be using the broken looking furniture just to fill out the clutter spaces within our house. Now at the moment when the player buys this property he'll be able to come through and sleep on the bed and then he'll be able to recover his HP, MP, all of that sort of stuff. Now we're going to move on to the you know, level 2 upgrade of this house and the player is going to be able to do a bit more. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the map and hit copy, then control V and that's going to paste a copy of that. So this is going to be house 1, this is going to be, we'll rename that to house 2. Now this one, we're just going to fix up any of the cracks, the get rid of all the broken furniture and just add in a few more walls and make it look a bit more homely. We're not going to make it too upscale, but it'll just have a bit more to it. Alright, so now we've got the second house built. This is going to be the first upgrade that the player receives. As you can see, we've fixed all the broken walls, the windows look much better, all the furniture looks a bit nicer. You've got a little storage room down in the bottom right hand corner, your bedroom's fully built over here in the left. The player can come home and sleep in the bed to rest his HP, MP. He can come up to the kitchen, cook himself some food using a synthesis system. We'll go over that in another tutorial. Um, and he's got a storage room. Now we're going to be building the upscaled version. So again, we're going to copy this house right here, hit Control C and hit Control V. We're going to rename this one to House 3. Now you can do this as many times as you like, but for the sake of brevity, in this instance, we're only going to upgrade the house one, two, three times. So let's continue on to making the upscaled version of this house. So we're going to change a few of the wall colorings and roof tiles. Anyway, let's get into it. And here we have the fully upgraded house. So now the player can come home, he can go rest in the bed, he can read a book from the bookshelf, he can change his clothes in the closet, he can come up and turn the fire on, he can come down and he can do some alchemy, he can come over and do some blacksmithing, come over to the kitchen, do some cooking. You get the idea, by having the fully upgraded house, it gives the player a sort of little hub where he can do all of his extra activities. So now that the maps are created, how do we put this into the game so the player has to buy a house and then pay for upgrades? Well, first we're going to go over to each map and we're just going to go quick event creation, transfer. We're going to transfer the player out into Tutoria right in front of the home. All we're going to do is do that for one map and then copy and paste this to all of the maps. Now we're going to go over to this house and we're going to go quick event creation, create door, and we're going to make this door lead into house one. Then we're going to click on the event and create a new event page, and then copy everything from here over to here, including the door, door to play a house. And some simple text is just going to read, it's locked. So how do we go about getting the player to buy the house and then getting the player to upgrade the house? Well, we're going to do this one using variables. So we're going to open up the event again, go over to number two, and then have a variable. The variable is going to be player housing. 
So we're just going to hit apply and we're going to make it so for the player to go into the first level house he's going to need a variable set to 1. Now we want to copy the event page, start a new event page and paste it, change this variable to 2 and then have the transfer move the player to the house number 2. Then we're going to do the same thing again, we're going to copy the event page, new event page, paste event page, and have player housing variable be 3, and this time we're also going to change the door, and then change the transfer to house 3. So depending on the variable under playing houses, whether it equals 1, 2 or 3, that's going to decide what house the player enters when he clicks into this door event. At the moment, the variable is set to 0, so whenever he tries to go up to the door, it's going to say it's locked. So let's just quickly test that. There we go, it's locked. So a fun thing we're going to do is create a sign here, and this sign's just going to read FOR SALE. See Tim at the guild hall if you're interested in buying. And then we're just going to quickly do a new event page. And if the variable player housing is greater than 1, then the sign will be gone. So that means this sign will only be here if the player doesn't own the house. And it's telling the player to go speak to Tim at the guild hall, which will be this little building over here. I'll only do a very quick map for the guild hall right now. We'll make a better one later. So over in the guild hall we're going to make a new NPC and we're just going to call him Tim. Now with no conditions, Tim's just going to say, Are you here to buy that house that's in town for sale? 5,000 gold if you want it. And then we're going to show choices, yes or no. Now if you say no, he's just going to say, What a shame, let me know if you change your mind. Now if the player says yes, we need to check that the player actually has 5,000 gold. So we're going to open up a conditional branch, click over to the fourth page and highlight gold. Then we're going to check that the player has more than 4999 gold. And we're going to create an else branch. If the player doesn't have enough money, then under this else, looks like you don't have the dosh. Come back when you can afford it. Now if the player does have more than 4999 gold, then firstly we're going to take that gold off him by going to the first page in the event commands, changing gold and decreasing 5,000. Then we're going to control variable and we're going to change the variable player housing to add 1. And then Tim's just going to say, you got it boss, the deed to the house is yours. Come back and let me know if you want to do any renovations. Then after that we're going to play an ME and we're just going to play Fanfare 1. So we're going to hit OK and when it plays the ME its text is just going to pop up and say you just purchased some prime real estate. And then from here we're going to create a new event page. And now under the variable we're going to check that the player housing is set to 1. Now let's quickly test this one out. First we'll just need to jump back over into the town and place down another treasure chest. So we'll do this right next to the guild house and that's going to be full of 5 G's. And we'll load this one up. Alright, so we're going to go over to the house. Hmm, that's locked. For sale, see Tim at the guild hall if you're interested in buying. That's cool. I forgot to move her out the way, so I'm just going to do a little hack past this wall. <laughs> Don't try that at home. And then I'll just open up this treasure chest. 5 G's, alright. Are you here to buy that house that's for sale in town? 5 G if you want it. You got it boss, the deed to the house is yours. Come back and let me know if you want to do any renovations. Alright, and the money's gone. Let's go down, mm, do a little hack again. Let's go down to the house and see now that the sign is gone because we've got the new variable. And here we have it, our own little house. So let's get to work on the upgrades. It's real simple. Let's jump back over into the editor. I'm gonna move this girl out of the way. I'm gonna load up Tim's event and go onto page two which we have the variable being greater than player housing 1. Want to upgrade your pad? 5,000 G's if you're keen. Add another choice, yes or no. If no, he's just going to say, whatever. 
Now, when yes, just so this event doesn't keep repeating and taking your money, we're going to open a conditional branch. So yeah, if the variable equals 3 and create else branch, if it equals 3, that means the house is fully upgraded. So we're just going to say, sorry bud, no more upgrades we can do. Now, if you don't equal 3, we're going to jump over into this else statement and perform the same check we checked in the first statement. So we'll jump back over here, copy all of this, and put it over here. Lose 5,000 gold, add one to play housing, and then he's just going to say, nice choice, keep the money coming in. Just real quickly guys, one thing we forgot to do was check to see if the player had 5,000 gold. So, we'll quickly do that. If they have the money, then you take the money. Else, you can't afford it, bucko. And now, the whole event process should be done. We should be able to go to this house over here and tell us it's locked and then go over to Tim, buy the house, upgrade the house, and have everything work smoothly. So let's test this one out. We're just going to need a bit more cash lying around. So let's add some more treasure chests, giving the player 5,000 gold. And guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, then it'd really help me out if you scroll down and hit the like button. And if you're really enjoying the video, then also hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notified whenever I post up more videos about RPG Maker. So let's try this all out now. Let's start by getting the money. It's locked. It's locked. For sale, see Tim at the guild hall. Alright, let's go see Tim. Let's get this last chest. Five G's were found. Interested in buying the house? Why, yes, I am. You got it, boss. Alright, let's go see our new house. Alright, here we go, we've got our own player housing. It's nothing too special at the moment, and... I still have another 10,000 gold to spend, so let's go back and upgrade this house. Wanna upgrade your pad? 5,000 Gs if you're keen. Nice choice, keep the money coming in. Alright, let's go see our new and improved upgraded pad. Ah oh, yeah, here you go, we gave him 5 Gs and now he's upgraded our home. I've also used the wrong tile over here, so I can't walk on it, that's not good. Alright, let's go to the final upgrade and get everything kicking. Want to upgrade your pad? 5 G's if you're keen. Nice choice, keep the money coming in. And now we're going to talk to him one last time just to make sure that we can't upgrade the house anymore. Want to upgrade your pad? Sorry bud, no more upgrades we can do. Alright, so now we're going to go over here. And here we have the fully upgraded house. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got plenty of more content planned. I've got an entire notebook next to me filled with videos that I'm going to produce for you guys. So hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and I will see you in the next video.